Well, welcome, Kelly, to Law of Attraction Talk Radio. I am so thrilled to finally be talking to you. Just because you really talk the Law of Attraction. Mm -hmm. And so you're very mindful of not talking about the negative or what could go wrong. You always focus on what could go right. And that is how you influence through the Law of Attraction. Yes, absolutely. Um, everything is energy. I'm energy, your energy, and the astrology maps the energy patterns in motion. And, and you are always the master of your destiny. In other words, we're working with the astrology and how we use it is up to us so that we can use it to be proactive or we can use it as an excuse to you know, blame the stars, the fault in our stars. Right. And, and so, I, from my own experience, the law of attraction is always matching, is always working with us. And so, when you couple the astrology with the law of attraction, you are an empowered individual and that's how I see the age of Aquarius that's dawning is it is an age where everyone is empowered mm. Mm. I agree um, and you can feel that energetically right now everybody is becoming awakened as to the power that they have within. I mean, everybody. It's just not people who listen to Law of Attraction talk radio or you. It's like it's just expanding energetically. People are just knowing this. So it's a fantastic year ahead, I feel. Is that correct by the stars? I'm very excited uh, about uh, 2015. And... I was excited about 2014. I, it, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, it, it's. I think part of it is my nature, um, and and so, yes, I I do see a lot of, you know, positive, proactive technology, and more people feeling empowered as we get into 2015. You know. It really is, from my experience, about getting in the driver's seat and taking charge of your life. Mm. So, so in other words, the more you do for yourself, don't wait, initiate, take action now, don't get ready, be ready. When opportunities present themselves to you, you can smoothly move into them and so, so it's still really up to the individual and what they're ready for. Mm, mm, yeah, right. Well, 2015 happens to be um, an auspicious year with the number eight. Mm -hmm. How does that play into the astrology? Does it reflect with the astrology as far as a very good, prosperous, and abundant year? It absolutely can be um, because, yes, eight is a master number. It's a number of business. It's a number of success. It's the infinity number, prosperity, love, absolutely. Um, and there is, you know, there's been a lot of talk around the Pluto Uranus, you know, with astrology for several years now because it has been such a game changer right uh, you know we're seeing it in the world with people protesting and mm -hmm. you know the dark side of it is this technological cyberspace attacks that are now um, the new frontier for for um, you know espionage and, and, and cyber war however you want to frame it and that is the dark side of Pluto Uranus because Uranus rules technology and Pluto rules uh, the shadow side of um, human behavior. 
And, uh -huh. and yeah, so when you couple those two in a, in a challenging aspect, which was what we've been experiencing since uh, late 2007, it is, it is an energy that can bring breakthroughs, but it can also bring um, the breakdown of systems. And, and so, so on the one side of it, we can say, okay, so, you know, there's some really weird stuff going on right now. But on the other side of it, you know, we're really looking at justice in the world. Justice. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, um, you know, why we're seeing, you know, the issue around racism becoming so strong. You know, we've moved to a, a military police force. Yeah. And that is insane. And, um, you know, and so so many uh, people feel disenfranchised and left out and um, just and get, divided and divided. divided. Right. We are going at each other. There is no unity. <laughs> exactly. And so. So as we move into higher vibration and higher energy, we're seeing uh, many issues being brought to the surface being brought to our consciousness and and that is for our healing because I practice all are one and that everyone counts everyone matters and so so we want to respect everyone and see the value in uh, all human life so so um, so I think on the one hand that is you know, uh, something that is going to continue in 2015, uh, just like it did in the 60s when Pluto and Uranus conjuncted. In the 60s, we had anti-Vietnam War, we had the women's liberation movement, we had the gay rights liberation movement, we had equal rights for uh, the, the African Americans, and, and so now we're here and we're, at, we're going to the next level and it's, it's time to, you know, really look at our behavior and our prejudices and our filters because, you know, this, this is no longer appropriate. And so with Saturn moving into Sagittarius tomorrow, on the one hand, this is, I think it's really exciting and uplifting and energizing and expansive. Uh, it's a much easier place for us to experience Saturn than in Scorpio because Scorpio was um, bringing us into the shadow side of human behavior and also supporting Pluto who supports, um, you know, keeping the status quo at the expense of the masses. And that, that is not um, necessarily a, a good thing. And so with Saturn moving into Sagittarius tomorrow and in the years to follow, Saturn will be in Sagittarius until December 21st, 2017, even though he will retrograde back out very briefly into Scorpio June 14th of 2015 through September 17th, 2015. He'll be back in Sagittarius and then in Sagittarius until 2017. He will be in alignment with Uranus, which will empower the individual because Uranus is in Aries and Aries rules the individual. So there is a shift in the energy coming in 2015 and, and 2016 and 2017 where we're gonna see the tables turn and we're going to have to start looking at the rights of the individual. You know, and, and so, so this is really important for the collective. For the individual, I do see it being a more prosperous year or a year for opportunity and you know again it comes down to what you're ready for and you know here's something else to think about when our country started when America started 95% of the population worked for themselves Wow 95% of the population were business owners entrepreneurs craftsmen farmers. Wow okay today 95% of the population works for corporations Yes. And if, if, if 2008 didn't teach us anything or 2001 or, you know, what's been going on is I see a trend of, and this is, you know, what I'm seeing is people 
moving back to being business owners and entrepreneurs. And, and this is the power of the individual so that you're not relying on this mega corporation that can throw you away the minute you're too old in their eyes or they want to you know give your job away in India uh, or, or wherever and and so this is about taking your power back from corporations and uh, the government or you know religion or um, whatever you've been basing your security on this is the time to really think about what you can do on your own with your own talent skills and abilities to create sources of income or another source of income that's based on your own effort and not conforming in some organization yeah that's the key word we're not conforming so it really is enlightening we're awakening to our own uh, talents and I love the fact that it people really take full responsibility by creating their own jobs creating their own future without depending on the um, powers that be that is wonderful but what about uh, the situation with well Congress just recently okayed the Cold War with Russia and I'm wondering how does it look for a possible World War three yeah okay. now that's not going to happen the energy is just not there okay wonderful yeah <laughs> you know is is the people on the planet the energy is not there the collective consciousness does not want war now yes. you know speaking to the to the American government we've been hijacked by corporations yes and Wall Street and the mega corporations they profit they're the only ones that profit from from this propaganda from this um, this warlike mentality Right. You see, and so they are always looking for where they can, you know, start another war, and uh, you know, and and the same thing with this with this uh, North Korea business going on, yeah. is is you know we don't really know the full story of that, and um, and so you can see how they're positioning right now the you know. The government, our government has been hijacked by the Koch brothers and corporations. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Our government doesn't work for the American people. Right. Okay? And if we want to change that, it's not about blaming the government. Run for office. If you don't like your government, stand up and do something about it. That's the distinction in 2015. That's the distinction in years to come. You see, we've sat back and let the Koch brothers and the corporate elite come in and buy up the politicians. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true. That's very true. But like you said, we are becoming aware. I mean, we are now becoming aware that um, the Twin Towers were brought down by the American government. By the Bush cartel, They're, yes, the Bush yes. Cheney cartel, but it's really George Bush who's who's, and they used Israel to do yeah. that. You see, Israel is actually the is ISIS, okay, and and so and so the more people awaken and and really look at who benefits, look at who benefits from these types of behavior, and then you can see, you know, everything we're being taught is a lie. That's why. It's so important to have uh, freedom of speech on the radio, freedom of speech on the internet, so that we can get the truth out that the Muslims are not our enemy. Right. I, I work with people all over the world. I work with people in the Middle East. They're beautiful. They're beautiful people. And they're just like us. They, they want love. They want prosperity. They want success. They, they want, want safety for their children. Yes. God bless yes, them. Yeah. Exactly. And so and so, you know, this this whole illusion, you know, during World War II it was the Japanese, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and now it's the Muslims, you know. And so so they they have to always create this this boogeyman 
-hmm. enemy so that we can justify why we're going to go genocide a whole group of people and you know so but what's like you said what's happening is the light is on coming earth is ascending and the consciousness is awakening in the masses and people are questioning people are beginning to do their own homework and do their own research and are beginning to connect the dots mm -hmm. and that's a really good thing and as you said I mean you're right on target here the technology has allowed us to see the actual truth of the dark side yeah. so now going forward we are able to make decisions and say no more this exactly. is not going to happen exactly. thank goodness so we have been brought into our power that's what I'm saying 2015 is going to be very powerful absolutely and it is going to have technological breakthroughs look at how gas has come down yeah <laughs> and so and so you know the more the truth comes out then the more the people are cut free and America is about inventing things we're creators we're yep. powerful creators and we want to create an environment that allows for new inventions new technological inventions that can lower costs eliminate costs and make your life easier mm -hmm. and so I do see that um, really becoming something amazing in uh, 2015 because Pluto and Uranus are going to finish up in April and so by the time we get to the cycle of Taurus in May on we are going to be moving past the um, breakdown phase in our uh, governments and, and and corporations and all of that and so like for me personally I'm not anti-government I believe that government can serve the people if we take it back and kick out the the money that's coming through the lobbyists and this this citizens whatever they are that allows the you know the Koch brothers to write million dollar checks to you know the the politicians on their payroll we really need to eliminate that once we eliminate that then we can empower our leaders to make policies that promote business promote entrepreneurship education infrastructure and really getting back to what America is about which is inventing things creating things being a leader on the planet for technology and um, inventing and, and creating whether it's in uh, medical or uh, the music industry it is that's where we thrive that's where I get really energized is um, seeing people having the freedom to be who they are and then act upon those impulses uh, for creative genius so you're saying that uh, we have more opportunities flowing to us during 2015 in which we can become the entrepreneurs or the creative partners in making our own income. Yes. yes. So that's wonderful. That's exciting. Yes. Well, what about does, and you say that is going to start after May? It, it's on right now it's on right now what I'm saying is going to start after May is the loosening up of this Pluto Uranus grip that has been extremely challenging for individuals that have gone through major divorce health issues financial loss uh, job loss people have been going through tremendous uh, breakdown and um, you know we're still going to see some of that in 2015 but it is going to get easier um, and there's a lot of support coming with Saturn moving into Sagittarius to empower the individual to expand their consciousness so that they 
can see new ways of living, new ways of being, and new ways of creating sources of income for themselves that isn't dependent on institutions so much. Right. Okay. Right. Now, now there's something else too, like you know, the age of Aquarius is the age of empowerment and it's the age of of technological advancement. In 2015, we have a major focus in Pisces which has to do with heart and compassion because we are ending the age of Pisces and we're entering the age of Aquarius and we don't want to go into the age of Aquarius you know with some you know Mad Max technological advancement at the expense of humanity at the expense of love heart compassion spirituality so it's really a marriage of the two that we're seeking to create is a marriage of technological advancement with heart with compassion and that's the the merger of the age of Pisces with the age of Aquarius you know it's interesting that you said that because more and more I'm hearing that people are worried about artificial intelligence so I can see where that subject is going to be brought up and the heart connection must be brought up with it exactly because you know there is a dark side to this technology and you know we're seeing it with this this cyber warfare where they they hacked into Sony I mean that is just horrible mm. and you know my just my heart goes out to them and and to the CEO you know is having your personal emails and all of that you know that's just a nightmare beyond belief and you know so so yes the artificial intelligence and you know whatever dark minds out there can think of next you know um, and so we want to come from a place of love and compassion and you know work with the technology in a way that makes life better for everyone and not just for the few at top you see and that that really is you know that it really is a battle between the light and the dark on the planet however you want to frame it you know it, it it's the battle of the light and the dark and it goes back to you know you know millions of years ago and you know it's been playing out here in the last 2000 years and you know so so the light is winning <laughs> the good news is the light is winning and the light is on coming and the light will prevail however there are you know this this small group that really wants to perpetuate their agenda and you know they're relentless they're just relentless you know and i mean you can see it with this uh, you know really a cold war with russia really really yeah. Yeah, I know. Is that the stupidest thing you've ever heard? It's up there. It's up there. You know, it's really <laughs> up there. You know, and and it's like they're always looking for excuses to, you know, invade and and yeah. bully and, uh, yeah. you know. So so, you know, and this is why you know you say, oh, why don't people like us? Why don't people like Americans? Hello, you know, yeah. we don't do anything about a government that is run amok with insanity so do you see a year of woman coming up in the near future like in a few years where women and the compassion in the heart are really going to start governing it's absolutely what is essential on the planet because everything is energy and we have been dominated for the last two thousand years by male values yeah. Okay. And I love men, so I'm not saying men in general. I'm saying um, we're all both. Women are feminine on the outside and masculine on the inside. Men are masculine on the outside and feminine on the inside. This is young in psychology, and so so we're all made of both. We are all androgynous, spiritual, great spiritual beings having this human experience. However, the power elite at the top, you know, this reptilian race, whatever they are, which are absolutely misogynist, hatred. Of, of women and that's another show we could do as to why <laughs> the holidays were stolen from the pagans and uh, you know women were kicked out of the Catholic Church uh, I don't even want to go into that that's another show um, <laughs> but the point is is that is that it's about raising up the feminine principles and the feminine values 
so that we are all balanced, that we are not extreme in any one direction, and we have had this extremity in, onto the male values of warfare and uh, domination and win at all costs that has brought the planet almost to the brink of destruction as well as the environment. And so we want to raise up the female values of cooperation, communication, mm -hmm. love, and nurturing. 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 Yes. Yes. When, and, yes. When when do you think that's going to happen? Well, In yes. 2017, 2018? Is it going to... I mean, are we starting now to shift into that direction? Well, I think we are. This is why all of the rape is coming out that's going on uh, on the college campuses. Yeah. All of the... The murder, you know, it's like some astronaut, it's like 135 million women are murdered every year by their families on the planet. Mm. I mean, it's like the numbers are astronomical of the murder and rape that goes on of women on the planet. And, and so um, what's happening now is we're bringing out into conscious awareness of the dark side of this hatred towards women that has been perpetuated by the power elite for the last 2,000 years and it's been done through religion because although the religions are controlled by the power elite and the negative ETs that created the religions to control the masses and so so this is this is why you know there's a lot that needs to flush out in order for us to take our power back not just from the corporations but from the organizations that um, have been controlling us for the last 2,000 years, but I tell you, the seat of all darkness is in Rome. And yeah. all of these splinter religions come out of uh, trying to get away from Catholicism, but they're just repeating the same um, <laughs> darkness um, right. and, and lies uh, because the true teachings were stolen from uh, Ireland, Scotland, the UK, basically. Yeah. Right, uh, I agree with you. It seems like though this Pope is he is. I know. He's, he's, he he's is. totally I, different. I think he is. I think you know I'm really surprised by what he's doing because he is finally challenging this dark seated organization that has been behind every war on this planet. In fact, they invented Jerusalem. Uh, that never even took place. When you study archaeological history, there was uh, all the teachings were stolen from Ireland and that Jesus isn't even a Capricorn Jesus was an Aries and so this holiday we're celebrating was stolen from the pagans by the Catholic Church to put something there to keep the focus off of the UK and bring the focus to the Middle East Wow Wow you're a wealth of knowledge this is incredible information and and so and so you can do your own research on the internet you can do your own research and and you know I'm not saying follow what I'm just saying because I'm saying it do your own homework I've done my homework I've I've been you know this is a path I've been on for for decades and uh, more and more truth is coming out and so so we liberate people by helping them understand you're following a false teacher yeah. or you're following a false belief system or you're following a false um, government and so we you know we can take the power back and uh, not you know what if we held a war and nobody showed yeah wouldn't that be wonderful all it takes is for people to quit enlisting exactly and 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 just don't go just to, you know don't make a vow to to go and 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 murder and kill yeah. and so and so you know so this is part of what's going to continue to happen in 2015, 2016, 2017 where more and more truth is going to come out but the the real sign you'll know that we're there that the shift has really happened is when you see CNN and Fox News start telling the truth and that's my question how do we know when they're telling the truth because it will be better than fiction. Will they somehow be able to agree? 
or well, they they're just spewing all kinds of uh, they are owned topic by, in it. Right, because they're owned by the corporations that fund right. war. Right. Okay. So so they're going to have to continue to give an agenda that's based on just what passed in Congress. Yeah, and being so controversial, it's like keeping the excitement. Which side are you on? It's keeping us divided. That's the duality consciousness. That's the third dimension. That's what we're leaving. Exactly. There is no oh. Republican or Democrat. That's an illusion. Yeah. You see? And and both sides are owned by the corporations. So I I, I prefer... Some of the things that the Democrats do, I prefer some of the things that the Republicans do. Um, and so and so where we're going is to triality consciousness, where we sit in a third position that doesn't do either or, black or white, man or woman, Republican, Democrat, you know, Muslim, Jew, Christian, Jew, you know, uh, old, yeah. young. You know, that's duality consciousness. That creates separation. When we're going to higher consciousness, we sit from a place of, a third position, triality consciousness, where there's no either or, where it all is um, it, not even an either or situation. It's more of acceptance, where you know I I accept what you believe. I accept. In other words, I'm I'm not here to prove you wrong. I don't need to prove you wrong. I follow my own beliefs and I give permission to everyone around me to follow theirs. That's the age of Aquarius. Not all of us thinking alike and acting alike, but allowing everyone their authentic self, their diversity, and that creates the harmony because we're no longer needing to genocide and do this ethnic cleansing yeah. of those that don't agree with my perspective or point of view. Boy, that's brilliant. Well said. Let me ask you, the age of Aquarius. Now, I remember back when we had that song, and it was in the 1970s, 69. Me, too. But that was the beginning, I yes. have thought, yes. of the age of the Aquarius. Yes. So what you're saying is the age of Aquarius, Aquarius is coming back into being the individual. And it's the same message we had in the 60s. The hippies were right. It's about oh love. It is about love. Harmony and cooperation. Those are female values. Even if we wow. have to call it female values, but that's what it is. And it's about dialoguing with Russia. It's about dialoguing with North Korea. It's, you know, I, I understand, you know, it's like, I have a strong male side, so I mean, it, it was a part of me that says, yeah, let's just bomb them. Let's show them you pick on us, what happens, you know? And then I'm like, that's the old consciousness, you know? It's like, you know, there's innocent people there. You know, most of the people in North Korea, they don't even know there's an internet. Yeah. So we're going to go hurt some people that have no idea that this crap is going on? Yeah, you see what no. I'm saying? So it's like, no, that is not the solution to, you know, um this type of behavior and we don't even know the full story right now because no. what we're being fed is coming through you know the mainstream which is owned by the corporate elite who wants war and so so you know it, it, right so the well what i've noticed though is that russia doesn't have terrible ideas no. I mean, they're not as bad as what we've been told. Oh, exactly. And they actually have some real great ideas, like exactly. the BRICS banks yes. and yes. and yes. and making yes. Yes. the world powerful instead of just America Thank holding you. the yeah. economy strings yeah. for the world. Exactly. And that's why Congress is doing this. That's the ah, real yeah. reason this is monkey business is going on, and it really is monkey business. Mm -hmm. You see, because how can an individual act effectively when you don't have all the facts? <laughs> yeah. Right? And so, you know, is, is in 2017, I see a huge shift coming in the collective consciousness. Now, that doesn't mean 2015 isn't going to be juicy good for the individual. But you've got to kind of divorce yourself from all the crap on the news, and you've got to focus on your own performance. You've got to focus on your own goals. It, you know, I mean, you still want to know what's going on in the world, but you don't need to focus there. You, the, your power is in focusing on your goals. What do you want to create in 2015? And you can go to my website, and I have a lot of free tools there for people mm -hmm. that they can use to create the 2015 they want. 
And so 2015 is going to be an awesome year. 2017, we're going to see a huge shift in the collective consciousness. Really? Yes. And that's because Saturn and Sagittarius, freedom, expansion, upliftment, positivity, encouragement, joy, laughter, uh -huh. is in harmonious energy flow with Uranus, the awakener, brilliant breakthroughs, opportunity, and so on. And when those two hook up, it's really going to bring the power elite back to the, you know, back to earth. You know, really, it's going, it's going to, it's not happy for them. Let's just put it that way. They're because it, so the, the, it sounds like we've got so much knowledge going on is that they can't control us anymore. Bingo. And that's it. And they're either going to get on the love train or they're going to take, you know, they're going, they're going to jail. You know what I mean? Like you're either going to join the party of prosperity, abundance, empowerment freedom joy laughter or you're you're gone because your whole debbie downer approach we don't want anymore we don't want any enemies you yeah know, i i love the work i do because it takes me all over the planet and i work with people from korea to you name it singapore to dubai to saudi arabia and i'm telling you there are light bearers and beautiful souls everywhere these are lovely people and they want what we want. Mm -hmm. They're they're not enemies. They're not uh, sitting over there thinking up, you know, how how to hurt you and I. That's the same people that live here. The the people, <laughs> the ISIS was created here. Okay, it was created in Israel. That's the fringe dark side of the CIA and, and, and the Pentagon. That's the dark side. We have a yes. good government and a good CIA and a good army, and then we have the dark side that attacks our own people, attacks our own soldiers. You yeah. see? So we have a good Air Force and, and, and Navy and Army, and then we have this dark fringe group that is, is the Blackwater and... Um, you know, they, so so they they are the ones that go in and instigate this stuff, and they go in and they find radicals, and they go in and they, you know, and they and they do it all out of Israel. That's why I question whether they need even to be there. You know, we got plenty of land in Nevada. We could move the Israel country right into Nevada. We got a nice desert area there, and they can have that, and that <laughs> solved the whole Middle East problem. <laughs> get the land back to the Palestinians. It's their land anyway. And Israel was brought in there in 1945, just I, by the same elite group that were funding, you know, IBM was funding and working on our side and working on the, in the German side. So it was the Catholic Church. You know, so when you start connecting the dots, you know, isn't it interesting how Israel was all of a sudden put there in 1945? Yeah. You know, you, uh, we are learning so much. The things that I wouldn't have guessed even a year ago is coming to the forefront. And not even by turning on the TV, mm -hmm. we're finding it in all kinds of ways. Yes, you are correct. We are funding ISIS. So what is everybody so afraid of? And it's propaganda that they're even coming you know, or going to all these other places. There's not enough of them to even come and start. There's just not enough no, of them. No, this is that. a fringe group. They, they control through fear. They're like vampires. They feed right. on our fear. Remember Ebola? Where did that go? <laughs> okay. Remember the bird flu? Remember, remember all that? Oh, I'm all gonna, I have one client freaking out. She wouldn't fly because of Ebola. I'm like, you're gonna, if you got more chance of dying of cholesterol. <laughs> then you're ever going to get that thing, okay? And, and you see how it's already gone? Because we have positive ETs with us, too, that have the technology to neutralize all that stuff. Because that stuff is being given to our army men right through their injections, right through their vaccinations. Yeah. That's how they're bringing it. And you notice how they're always picking on Africa? Yeah. You know? Do you notice that? You see, yeah. That, always, yeah. Always, always. Why did AIDS start in Africa? Why does all these Ebola's and other things start in Africa? Well, you could say, oh, you know, they're poor and they don't have, you know, clean water and all that. No, that's not it. You know, there's there's a lot of that all over the planet. It's because the dark forces and the military in, and they inject our very own soldiers with the disease. 
with these diseases. But what's, what's happening is the ET technology is so advanced, they can neutralize what they're doing. And that's why there's not going to there's not going to be a, a war in 2015. There's not going to be so, so. The best thing you can do for the planet is to stay in high vibration, stay positive, stay forward focused, and and use love as your weapon. Love is my weapon. Love is the best weapon on the planet. And even beam it to the negative, uh, you know, the the negative elite here, the the power elite that are so bent on maintaining control. You know, just send them love. You know, that's right. You know, it, it, Jesus said, I, I will love you. Uh, um, how did he say that? Um, I love you. I, I, I love you with the perfect hate. Oh, okay. There's no such thing as a perfect hate. Right. Right. It's because hate can't be perfect. But what he was saying is. I, I, I'm loving you. And even though you are the enemy, I still love you. And, and so they don't know what to do with that. They don't know what to do with love. They have no use for love. That's why they don't like women, because we are, you know, we represent love on the planet. And the original religion on the planet was love. Right, right. It, it wasn't Boy. anything else but love. It, it wasn't a dogma. It wasn't, um, you know, a, a controlling mechanism or an, an either or, you know, you're either with us or against us. You're either going to heaven or hell, all that fairy tale, bad fairy tale. Uh, uh, dogma. Yeah, but you know, the love to me is much stronger than hate, because love and is part of the creation and it expands. So how did it go by the wayside? That's the million dollar question. Well, that's that's what happened when we allowed the negative ETs that came here to take over, and how they did it is through creating these religions. Ah, uh, yeah. You see, okay. because yeah. there you got an enemy, right? Yeah. You're the yeah. enemy because you don't. You're not in my church, and if you're not in my church, I can kill you. Right. No, well, that makes sense. Tell me about ETs. When are we going to have full disclosure? I know you're not a psychic, but does the star suggest uh, an opening or a time that we're going to be able to? It really comes down to when the people are ready. Ah, uh, yeah. And I again, I wouldn't say until there is this major shift in consciousness that takes place because there's been so much fear around um, our advanced brothers and sisters that you know people would freak out, and that wouldn't serve. You know, if people are driving off the road, you know, and 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 just you know scared out of their bejeebies, you know, look at how everyone asked uh, behaved after 9/11. Right. You know, that that was like such a hard time because everybody was like in fear. And, you know, so it comes down to what the collective is ready for. And like I said, as I see a major shift in the consciousness in 2017 that will really propel us into um, forward movement in taking our planet back and creating prosperity, prosperity and freedom for everyone. Although I still think that 2015 is going to be um, a year of opportunity and that it can bring greater prosperity. I don't, personally, I'm not seeing like anything like the stock market crash. I mean, there's a lot of propaganda as well going on out there by people that, you know, they want you to buy gold because they benefit. Right, or, right. Or they want you to follow this belief because they're having a workshop and they benefit from you coming to their workshop. Right. You know what I mean? Like, so you got to look at, you know, you know, when you when you you hear this stuff, you you just look and you go, okay, you know, so you're you're telling us this, and you know, you benefit from telling us this. So I don't see why we can't move into. What we need is more integrity in our banking and and mm -hmm. economic systems and and I don't see why we can't change the policies so that can occur and it doesn't have to be some sort of crash or you know all the power goes down and we're off the grid or you know like there's a lot of things being said out there that I don't agree with and from what I'm seeing is we can transition into better systems and better approaches to things 
and do it in a way that we're making creative revolution. We're making creative changes without destruction. Absolutely. I love this. So that is very, very positive for 2015. We are still awakening and uh, opportunities are going to flow. We just have to have our eyes open enough to bring them to us. So Kelly, tell people how they can, one, see your fabulous YouTube astrology forecast and get more information on your website. Uh, yeah, they can go to kellyrosano.com. That's K-L-L-E-Y-R-O-S-A-N-O.com. Everything's there. And, um, yeah, I think it's going to be a great year. Attitude is everything, you know. And, you know, we're going to have our challenges, but it's the challenges that make us grow and evolve. And we're also going to have wonderful opportunities to expand consciousness spiritually advance, be more prosperous, feel more joy because we're taking our power back from the organizations and the institutions and listening to our own inner guidance. Mm. That is um, listening to our own inner guidance. It's like we're turning within yes. Yes. to actually be able to see more. Yes, and, and to know more. Right. Right, intuitively. Intuitively. So it, it, I was hoping that maybe they're going to get rid of the fluoride in 2015. <laughs> the fluoride from the water and everything to to uh, get us. And who would they be? Uh, city governments. See, that's what we have to understand is that they is us. So yeah. We have to, if you want your city government to change, run for office. Get involved. That's what's going to change it. That's why people are protesting. It's the power of the individual. It's your city. It's your government. Get involved. Run for office. Mm -hmm. This is what's this is the change. You are the one you've been waiting for. Jesus isn't returning. Jesus is inside of you. Right. You are the Christed one you've been waiting for. You are the savior you've been waiting for. When you claim that and take action, you will be unstoppable. Kelly, where are you coming out of? Where uh, Where do you live? I'm in Denver, Colorado. Oh, in Denver, beautiful Denver. Okay, good. For some reason, I kept on picturing Canada. But that is wonderful. You're right in the middle of America. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. I urge everyone to go to this fabulous law of attraction astrologer because I've been listening to her for years and she has been so right on target I just I just love and adore this woman Kelly thank you so much for taking the time will you please come back on and share some more wisdom with us absolutely absolutely thank you so much and uh have an awesome new year and happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Yes, and a wonderful 2015. Thanks, Kelly. Why is he on a year?